Let's do a simple outlier problem using Excel. I have 10 measurements here and I've arranged them in increasing order for convenience. So in order to use the uh, Thompson Tau technique, we first have to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So the mean is equal to, in Excel we type equal average, average of this table, this uh, column. That's our average. The standard deviation we'll call S. And in Excel, we just type in STDEV, parentheses, and the values. That's our standard deviation. And I'm going to make another column here called delta. Delta is the difference between the measured value and the mean. And uh, we don't care about signs, so we're going to make it the absolute value. So equal absolute value of the measurement minus the mean. And the mean, we put on an F4 there so that we have that value frozen for all the lower uh, uh, rows here. And then fill this in. So this is the delta. Now, because these are arranged in increasing order, uh, we would expect either the lowest one or the highest one to have the most likelihood of being an outlier. So we compare these. The delta obviously is greatest for point number 10. So that's the one we suspect as a possible outlier. Now to tell whether it's really an outlier or not, we have to find the tau, the Thompson tau value, which we get from the modified Thompson tau table, or this equation if you want to type that in. Uh, and we get at n equal 10, 1.7984. So we write that in, 1.7984. It's our tau. And then the final step here is to write, to calculate tau times s and compare it with the actual delta. So here we write equals tau times s and we get 0.952. And so comparing this number with this number, we find that tau times s is greater than 0.86. And therefore, this point is not an outlier. We have to keep it. As a final comment, if this point or this point, uh, any of the extremes happen to be an outlier, in this case, that was they were not. If they were, then you could remove it basically throw it out, throw out that data point and not feel guilty about it uh, because it's an outlier. And then we would have to go through this whole process again with the nine remaining values to see if there are any other outliers. You have to do this one outlier at a time. And there are some cases where you might have more than one outlier in your problem. You can remove them only one at a time. The reason being that once you remove one, the mean and the standard deviation changes, and then the tau also changes because you will have a fewer number of data points. So you have to basically go through the same procedure over and over again until you don't have any more outliers.